Hello everybody. In today's video, we are going to talk about the gene therapy in India and the institutes that are working on it. So this uh, video is useful for especially for those of you who want to pursue your research uh, field in gene therapy, right? Uh, so this uh, particular information, uh, so what we are going to see is we are going to see not just what gene therapy in India, the current status of it, but also the universities and what particular research in gene therapy therapy are they going to do, are they doing currently so this is also what we are going to see so these informations are collated uh, from the official websites of these uh, universities as well as from review articles that are published and a few recent news articles that have come up so these are the sources of this particular video i'm dr vaishali academic specialist at biotechnica come let's explore the topic so first we are going to see the status of gene therapy in india right so what exactly is gene therapy gene therapy is nothing but it is used to treat a disorder by altering the person's genetic makeup so here basically we are not treating the disease using a drug or medication but we are going to change or alter the makeup of the genes of that particular person to treat the disorder so that is what is gene therapy now in india to uh, you know go ahead with gene therapy you need approval from the cdseo that is central drug standard control organization so only when you get a go ahead from this particular uh, organization you can uh, do your uh, commercialization of the gene therapy product or even research for that matter now so uh, government has um, also established a commune, uh, committee in the year 2019 which is called the gene therapy and advisory and evaluation committee so this committee what it does is it oversees or supervises the gene therapy research as well as the market uh, in india and it has also uh, issued the guidelines in 2019 for establishment of framework for gene therapy so this particular guideline was um established by icmr and dbt together all right then the next uh, body that is uh, responsible in gene therapy is the national ethical guidelines for biomedical and health research involving human participants so this was this guidelines was given uh, in the year 2017 so this particular guideline says about talks about the use of uh, especially the stem cells uh, in gene therapy the use of stem cells in research as well as for commercial use in gene therapy so next is uh, we're also going to talk about the diseases right in uh, india that uh, where gene therapy is used first of all the uh, the commercial use of stem cell therapy is banned in uh, india but it is used uh, for a few diseases alone like for example malignant or the cancer uh cancer diseases especially and also for sickle cell disease as well as thalassemia so these are the exceptions for this particular ban so basically because the stem cell therapy has been banned so most of the research is uh towards the therapeutic gene therapy now what are the diseases that uh india is targeting these days is a uh, lebel congenital amaurosis hemophilia car t cell therapy for leukemia and lymphoma so what is car t it is carci carcinogenic antigen receptor of the t cell so what it basically does is uh, um, in this particular therapy you take the t cells which is responsible for your immune response right so in this t cell uh, will be doing gene therapy that is will be altering uh, the gene that is responsible for this particular receptor so that it can treat leukemia and lymphoma so this is what is uh, car t cell gene therapy the next is sickle cell disease thalassemia and there are other diseases as well like alzheimer's disease and brain disorders uh, which uh, you know india focuses on few universities on in india also focus on these diseases so the first university that we'll be talking about today is iit bombay so the department in iit bombay is the bioscience and bioengineering department so this particular department uh, so they've done the modern gene therapy for cancer treatment indigenously right so like just what we talked about the car t therapy so they are one of the pioneers along with the tata memorial center to uh, come up with indigenously uh, developed 
uh, CAR T cell therapy, right? So they are first in India gene therapy in, and it is right now in the early phase pilot of clinical trial. Now, they also not just work on uh, CAR T therapy, uh, they also work on leukemia, on multiple myeloma, glioblastoma, hepatocellular carcinoma, as well as type 2 diabetes. So these uh, CAR T cell therapy can be used for these diseases as well. So next, uh, the research institute that we're going to talk about is ACTREC. Now, what is ACTREC? It's nothing but the Advanced Center for Treatment, Research and Education. So this is a Tata Memorial Center's um, department. And they particularly uh, are called the pioneer of gene therapy related research in India. So they also have collaborated with IIT Bombay, especially for the CAR T therapy. So they are the pioneers because they were the first ones to come up with gene therapy for head and neck cancer using synthetic vector. So that's the reason they are called the pioneers of gene therapy. So the next institute we're going to talk about is INSTEM. INSTEM is basically Institute for Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine. It is located in Bangalore. So they are working on inherited blindness called retinitis pigmentosa. So this is one of the very commonly uh, seen blindness, the reason for blindness in India. So they are working on gene therapy for this particular disease as well as a few brain disorder, right? Uh, for example, they have this program called Accelerated Program for Discovery in Brain Disorder using stem cells. So here we, what they do is they particularly concentrate on mental disorders like what is the reason for a prolonged mental illness. So that is what they are concentrating on in this particular program. They Apart from these diseases, they also work on thalamus thalassemia, sickle cell, as well as hemophilia. They also work on translation uh, medicine as well as regenerative medicine, especially with collaboration with different universities or organizations as well. The next institute that we are going to talk about is IGIB, which, which is a CSIR institute. So it stands for Institute of Genomics and Integrated Biology. So here they work on monogenic blood disorders. So what is monogenic? Monogenic is nothing but single gene. So the blood disorders which involves single genes. So these are the dis uh, disorders that they basically focus on. So um, those disorders are nothing but sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, hemophilia and A as well as hemophilia B. So they use a CRISPR uh, for... Uh, treating or to develop gene therapy for all of these diseases. So right now this particular sickle cell anemia is in preclinical studies. Uh, the gene therapy that is obtained by IGIB is right now in preclinical studies. The next we are going to talk about is IICB which is also a CSIR institute. It's, it stands for Indian Institute of Chemical Biology. So here they work on epigenetics as well as genome editing. They work on gene as well as cellular therapy for blood disorders. So few of the disorders is nothing but blood cancer, myeloid, leukemia is what is the disorder that they work on. The next institute that we're going to talk about is the Cancer Institute that is uh, present in Chennai. So this particular wing is Women's India Association that is WIA. They particularly work on cancer that's related to women. So right now using uh, gene therapy, they are in the phase two trial for HPV associated cervical cancer. And in the phase one uh, clinical trial study for ovarian cancer. So these are the different types of cancer which Cancer Institute at Chennai works on. The next institute that we're going to see is NCBS which stands for National Center for Biological Sciences which is located in Bangalore. So they as well use CRISPR uh, on stem cells and they work specially on the Alzheimer's disease. Next is about CMC Velour, Tamil Nadu. So CMC stands for Christian Medical College. So they have a department called Center for Stem Cell Research that is CSCR. So this particular department works on stem cell as well as gene therapy. So here they use stem cells to treat the hematological diseases. Apart from this, they also work on thalassemia, sickle cell as well as 
hemophilia. The next uh, universities, we also have other lists of universities that works on stem cell research. So the first one is the Stem Cell Biology Laboratory at National Institute of Immunology. This is one of the institute. The second institute is Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research that is JNCASR, so which is located in Bangalore. The third is the Department of Molecular Reproduction, Development and Genetics, which is located at Indian Institute, Institute of Science, again at Bangalore. The next is a CSIR uh, Institute, that is Indian Institute of Toxicology Research. And the department that uh, works on gene therapy is Environmental Carcinogenesis Division. So these are the different divisions as well as the institute that they are uh, at uh, which work for gene therapy so if you are interested in um, you know going towards going in gene therapy and doing a research on this then these are the universities that we just listed down so you can go ahead and do your research the next is we are also going to talk about a few companies a few recent companies that have come up which are working on gene therapy so the first uh, company that we're going to talk about is iSTEM. So as the name suggests, they basically work on the eye related disorders. So the molecule that they're working on is eyesight RPE and it is presently in the preclinical phase of clinical trials. So the indication that it works on is dry AMD. AMD is nothing but age related macular disorder. So it's one of the eye related disorder that iSTEM is working on. The next company is Immunil Therapeutics. So here the lead molecule that they have is IMN003A, which is in phase two of the clinical trial and they work on leukemia as well as lymphoma. The third company that we're going to talk about is the Loris Lab, which works on a molecule called HCAR19, which is in phase one of clinical trial and it works on leukemia. Now, so these are the companies as well that works on gene therapy. So in today's world, especially in India, so the environment is very conducive, very favorable for gene therapy because the government has uh, come up with a lot of guidelines and regulatory bodies that is necessary to keep gene therapy in regulation. So which means to say that government is interested in pushing gene therapy. So this this also comes because of the Make in India program that uh, India is really focusing on. So these days uh, for cancer treatment, especially if uh, patients have to get gene therapies, right? So they have to go abroad only because there is no commercially available gene product, gene therapy product right now in India. So they go abroad and they shell out a lot of money for their treatment. So obviously government is also pushing Indian institutes and universities to come up with research as well as companies, right, uh, to come up with our own product so that it's, uh, you know, beneficial for our patients. So yes, uh, gene therapy is something that is a cutting edge research in today's world, also in India. So if you're looking at uh, working in gene therapy, then please do look at all of these universities and all of this uh, research that is going on. See if you're interested in them. Do contact those professors who are working and see where it goes. And I wish you all all the best if you're working, if you're going to work on gene therapy. So that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much. Uh, do, we'll all meet in the next video. Bye.